That's it. That's all you guys get for free. Only fans coming soon. Well, you got it. Yes, I do. No, I don't. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the second video. This is Sag Harbor. This is actually the town that I grew up in. East Hampton is just kind of the town I moved to when I was like around like 17. But I grew up in this town. We got all the yachts over here. We got the boats. I actually lost my virginity over there. I'm just kidding. No, I didn't. I didn't tell you guys a little bit about myself the first video. So I'm actually 26 years of age. Unfortunately, even though I grew up in this beautiful town of Sag Harbor, I gave my better part of my life to drugs. I was a drug addict from the age of 14 all the way up to the age 25. I missed on a lot of good opportunities. I missed on a lot of good friendships. And I threw a lot of good friendships up due to drugs. Now, a part of it had to do with a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. Fortunately, that's something that a lot of people in today's age suffer from. So I want to give you a little bit of insight on my life and how I was able to overcome that and now how my life has turned out to be a lot better because of it. So this video today is a little more special to me just because today's anniversary, 12 months later of the accident that I explained in the last video, how there was bones protruding through my arm, there was blood everywhere. I was admitted into the hospital for a whole month. I was watching videos on how to better yourself, how to become more successful in life. And I'm not talking money. I'm talking about life success, being a better person. One thing stood out to me, change your physiology and your mind will change with it. And that makes sense because the first thing everybody does in the morning that you wake up, you go to the bathroom, you look at yourself in the mirror. If you don't like what you see, your days already collapsed. You're done. You can't go into a fight thinking you're going to lose because you already lost. And now I'm not here to speak on everybody's personal experience, but I can talk about mine. This can actually help some people overcome theirs. A lot of my anxiety came from trying to change situations that I could not change, trying to change other people's mindsets instead of trying to change my own. Now I just focus on myself. And of course, you got to think about everyone else, love everyone else, but you can't love everyone else if you don't love yourself first. Being heavily medicated at the age of 16 really led into a life of drug addiction. It is something that is happening in today's age and it's a fucked up habit for people to have. Now, I was able to beat it after my accident due to two things. Hard work, because nothing comes easy. Real change doesn't take two months. Real change doesn't take five months. It takes a full year, two years, three years, right? The second thing that aligned with it was actually having a goal and a motive. For me, it became the gym. For you, it could be different. For you, it could be as simple as grabbing a piece of paper or going on your computer and starting a graphic design business. Whatever drives you, your passions will eventually lead you out of addiction. Yo, what's good guys? We're back in Hampton Bays. No, no, we're not back in Hampton Bays. What the fuck am I saying? I'm stupid. We're at Hampton Bays. We're at my boy Sean's house. I'm getting started on a little bit of a chest and tricep and bicep workout. Right now we're warming up the rotator cuffs because that is hugely important. Anytime before you do any heavy lifting, you want to make sure that this part is warmed up. This part that allows you to either push up, pull down, whatever type of movement it is. Warm up your rotator cuffs. Don't be out of the gym for three or six months. You will be in a lot of pain. We're going to start with hitting off chest first. We're going to start off with two 44s. It's a little weird. It's the first time I've ever seen 34s at a gym, but let's hit it. This is going to get all the blood going to the chest. So this is our warm up. We're going to start with two, one set of 12 to begin, and then we're going to move up the weight. And now I'm gonna hold right here, just so all the blood pushes to my chest. And release. Solid 12, let's move up a couple more plates. So now we're gonna do three sets of 12 reps each. Sound like steel, bro. Couldn't go to 12. My arm gave up on that one. All right, we're going down to the third set. Unfortunately, I have to drop the weight a little bit just because I feel a little bit of too much pressure on the actual injury. But let's get it. Third set, 12 reps. So now we're gonna get into some incline bench press dumbbells. We're gonna do with a light 40. We're gonna do three sets. When I go to go to failure, just three sets of 12 reps each. Also, when you do these, hold the dumbbells on an angle. Don't hold them fly like people typically think like this. Hold them on an angle like that. And then push up. Nine. 
couldn't do the 12. So I'm gonna drop the weight by five pounds so we can reach those 12. We wanna hit those 12. Another nine. But you know what? I'm not gonna get down on myself. I'm not gonna beat myself up over it because at least I'm still here. Consistency is the key. Even if one day you feel a little bit off, still power through because this is just the beginning of the workout. This is my last set. In the incline dumbbell press, three sets of 12. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Looks like today, nine is the magic number. Looks like today is just reps of nine. Second set, nine reps. That's it. That's all you guys get for free. Only fans coming soon. All right, so now we're getting some cable flies. Personally, this is my favorite chest workout because I can pump all the hard work, all the stress I've had from the past week. So we're gonna do four sets consisting of one warm up set, going to 12 reps, two working sets, 12 reps. And the last one, we're going to failure, and then we're doing a drop set. Go Jonathan, bitch. All right, dropping down to 40, to failure, and then dropping down to 20. So failure. I know 20 isn't much, but by the end of this, it feels like you're lifting two semi trucks and just hold it. It's that OnlyFans, baby. All right, so we're in a seated fly machine. We're gonna do three sets of 12 reps each. We're gonna start with an easy 20 for a warm up. I don't like to put too much weight on this because it fucks with my injury, but I'm not a bitch, so. All right, moving up to 40. Now we're gonna do two working sets of 12 reps each. Let's get it. All right, so now we're gonna get into some biceps and some triceps. Lightweight, right? I'm gonna bend over a bit like this. Just pull straight out. So this, for my warm up, I like to do two sets of 12 reps each. For the working sets, we're gonna drop this down and it's gonna be more of a pull in motion so you're really gonna bend on this one. If it makes it easier for you, push your hand on your knee and then on an angle, push out. Over the head, cable pulls. You're gonna see a lot of people go ahead and do this. They're gonna push out like this, right? And they're gonna do it like this. I advise you not to do that because you're not isolating your triceps. What I like to do, I like to put my foot on the machine, push my back towards it, and pull. That way, completely isolating those triceps. You can't cancel me, I'm uncancelable. Cause I don't say stupid shit, but check out my OnlyFans. <laughs> All right, second set. For the third, we're gonna go to failure and then drop set. All right, we're on the last one. So this is a final to failure and drop set. Let's get it. We're gonna do three working sets of 12 reps each. All right, so now we're getting into biceps. This is gonna be my warm-up set. Three warm-up sets of 12 reps each. We're gonna isolate the muscle, so I'm gonna lean all the way back. Make sure when you get all the way up here, squeezing up here is what pushes all the blood to the bicep. Do four sets of 12 reps each of regular curls. All right, we're gonna get some hammer curls now. So 15 pounds, we're gonna do three sets of 20 reps each. I really like to go hard on this one. Just a little bit of advice. A lot of the mistakes I see a lot of people make are not concentrated, they're not focused. They're thinking about what they're gonna do after the gym, what they're gonna eat. If you don't have this look right here, when you're working out, you failed. You're not present. You're not here. You're somewhere else. You know, fucking La La Land. Don't be in fucking La La Land. See how I'm still talking to you? I'm still fucking murdering my fucking biceps. That's it, baby. Let's get it. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching the full video. This is my chest, biceps, and tricep video. Can't wait for the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you guys next time, baby.